That's really good whiskey. It's really good whiskey. The finish is stupid long. I You only need one sip. It's like a Lay's bag of potato chips. Yeah. But it's not Lay's, it's Willet. What's up, everybody? We are back with a buy, bar, and pass, Will. <laughs> what are we doing this week? Well, this is something that I happen to win in a drawing, the right to buy. Well, the right, yeah, the <laughs> right to buy. Right to purchase. That is an asterisk, like, you need to make sure that you say that word. Right to buy, meaning it's you don't win it. You right, right. It, I you're won not, the it's right not getting to free. It. But, however, you got to buy it at retail. Of which I was like, Grease, you want to go have these on this through the podcast? Right. <laughs> and we can use it for a video. Right, right, right. I love the fact that when you are in the store and you win, we get to use the card. When I'm in the store, you don't I call win, me and you spend the money anyways. But then <laughs> you... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's semantics. Tonight, we have Will It Family Estate... 18-year-old single barrel bourbon. And buddy, this is bottle number three of 48. So not a lot of whiskey came out of this bottle. Oh yeah, three of 48. Check that out right there. Let me go ahead and tell you something about this bottle right here. You ready? This bottle can smoke. Not this anymore. Bottle, <laughs> not anymore. This bottle you can are, smoke. You're showing your age, bud. You can't smoke? Nope. How old do you got to be to smoke right now? I think it's uh, either 19 or 21, but it's not 18 anymore. You can't smoke now? Dude, we're not doing kids these days. <laughs> they can't get away with anything. Look at that crest, Will. It's that beautiful. Crest. I, I, I would totally it. tattoo. Drew, can I be honest with you right now? Can I have the licensing rights to that crest to put on my lower back? I will, I will do that. <laughs> um, Will... Will, I'm so thankful for you for so many reasons. You want to know why? Why? You have a show called Fresh Crack. Yeah. And you could have done this on Fresh Crack by yourself. I know. I thought about it, but I saved it. And you did not do it by yourself. You let me do this with you. Cheers to it's spending a lot of money on whiskey together. Okay. It smells, it's not Stitzel Weller, but it smells like Stitzel Weller. You just like saying that. I like grape notes. It just smells aged because it's 18-year-old cast drink bourbon, 110.2 This proof. This smells like detention. <laughs> this, you know why this smells like detention? Because, because you know you got away with something. Well, no, because you didn't get away. no, no, no. I would do some shady stuff to smell and taste this. I would do some shady stuff, dude. I would. It, you, the oak influence it's, is there. Oh, it's, it's, got, it's, it's got some cherry to it. Some good, like dark fruit. Dark fruit. Yeah, notes. dark fruit. Yeah, here we go. But it's 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 also it's got that bright sparkling to it mm -hmm. too. That's really good whiskey. It's really good whiskey. The finish is stupid long. I you only need one sip. It's like a Lay's bag of potato chips. Yeah. But it's not Lay's, it's Willet. Here's the deal. It's not, if I'm being honest, yeah. it's not complex. No, no, it's pretty straightforward. It's straightforward. Yeah, I mean, now it is a fresh crack. It's cast strength. It's a short barrel. Right, 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 right. There's a lot of factors. There's a lot of in. things here. It is really the good. The finish is whiskey. stupid. One of the best finishes I've ever had. I'm still tasting it. Yeah. And I don't know how long it's been. It's been a minute. Honest opinions. As Dixon would say, first blush, it's like 18-year-old whiskey. The finish is insane. Like, I, I'm, I'm like curious. so good. I'm curious when you give the it a little... The complexity airtime, if some of that... Because it tastes a little hot for 110, honestly. There's a lot of concentration of flavor. I feel like some could open up. It feels like it could be 120. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with that. I feel like it could open up in a, like a really... In a good way. Special way. <laughs> Special way. I didn't want to say. What are you doing? What kind of BS are you doing? I'm opening up a, with a triple water. I am. 
Here's the deal. I like the it finish is stupid. The Tame fin- it down a little bit. The finish is stupid. If you if you said this bottle costs two hundred dollars, I would say it's a bar. What, uh, what did we pay? No. no, if it were two hundred dollars, I would buy this. Why'd you put your finger in? Why'd you put your finger in yours and not in mine? You want my finger in your glass? Try it with a little bit of water. See how it cuts through. It's still one dimensional for me. Yeah, I see. I get some more. It's like, bright. It's co- fruitier. Some, like, it's cocoa, like dark chocolate, kind of the bitterness to it. So, Grease says at two hundred dollars he'd be a bar. I say at two hundred dollars, an eighteen year old whiskey that I, that is cast strength. I'm a buy. I would buy it at two hundred dollars. We did not spend two hundred dollars on this. How much did we spend, Will? The MSRP was nine hundred forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. But we earned 427 points with the retailers, so might as well call it a gimme. <laughs> Buy bar pass at 950. Let's round up calling it even thousand listen, with 10% sales tax. Listen, so <laughs> even thousand dollars. What would you uh buy bar pass? Um, this is called a pass. $950 plus tax? Yeah. We're idiots. Yeah. Here's the deal. Is it very good? Yeah. Yes. Is right. the fin? Do I taste the finish for two minutes? And if that's your thing, if you're like, you know what, I never taste the finish that last two minutes. This one does. This one will do it. And here's the deal: it's really good. You can pay whiskey. for it. It's really good whiskey. It's unique. It's only one bottle of forty-eight. There's a lot of good things about it. There's a lot of qualities. I mean, look how dark the color of that whiskey is. Oh, it's. I mean, it might. It's, it might. It might as well be charcoal. Yeah, it's, it might it's very dark. It's it has a, a great finish. I want to see how it opens up, but I don't. I don't know that I'll ever get to the point where that's a buy. Where any any uh, that's a hard sell to say There's something that's not, that much money is a buy ever. It's hard for me to say a two hundred dollar bottle of whiskey is a buy. There's not much four hundred dollars plus that we even flirt with. There's just not. And so, well, it's even like um, Boss Hog. Great tasting whiskey. Right. Nope. $500 MSRP. Here's the deal. They sell Not out of buy it. it. They sell out of it. So there's enough people out there that do do it. Do do. I'm a buy. I'm a pass. What are you? Like legit. I, I've had better whiskey than that. If you go. I've in, had better whiskey than that that costs less than that. Okay, let me, let me, so let me give you a situation. So therefore, I am a pass. You go to Willet, and you're at the bar in Willet, and they say, we've got this short barrel 18-year-old. It's $200 an ounce. Would you like an ounce? I don't know. If, if, here's you've, got, if you've got $200 to blow on a one-ounce pour of that's, an 18-year-old Willet. That's very situational, that, and I agree I know, I know, but it has the finish that you walk away saying, I wasn't had. You know what? My experience with something in a bar like this, a high dollar, and this is a good point. Yeah. Because this isn't the buy bar pass on the scale of like, should you just kind of see if try it before you buy it? There's something to be said about the experience of having a rare, once in a lifetime, high dollar pour of whiskey at a special place like the bar at Willet. Right? Oh. That's a different experience. That's I mean, not that's not going into Applebee's and getting a, a pour of Blanton's. That's not Andrew Bowen knows. So there's something to be said about an experience of going into a place like that and and having a special moment with whiskey. Trying something unique at the bar at Willet demands a premium that is not going to your local haunt and trying a, an expensive whiskey there unless that's what you want to do. So I think there could be a case made for trying something rare, unique. I don't I've also had older Willets that blow me away. Oh. So this one, yeah, I this agree. one at the $950 MSRP, very good. With it's very good, but it it doesn't live up to the price tag, but if I were at the bar at Willet and it was this one or another 18 year cuz you don't know what you're getting. It may not be this precise barrel. There's only 48 of these. And we know at least a couple cases hit this market. The bar argument for a special occasion like that is valid. But if I know it's this one and people are asking me, should I try barrel, barrel one, two, one, three, nine? two, three, nine at the bar at Willet for $200? Are you impressed I knew that? 
I would say pass. And see what else they got on the menu. <laughs> Read some tasting notes. Yeah. That one just comes out because a little, I mean, like, like you said, it does come across a little one-dimensional. Like the, it's twi- robust, like the 25-year-old stuff. Like great flavor. Really good finish. But at the end of the day, it is... We'll see what happens with some airtime, but I'm still a pass on that. Uh, but we're going to share it with a lot of people as we go through that $950 price point purchase that we made. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Buy Bar Pass. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell. And if you want to support us and uh, go to more bottle purchases so we can review them for you and tell you if you should have a pour or buy it yourself, right. it's we're a lot the, less. We're in the nine. trenches. <laughs> we're in the trenches for y'all. Y'all better support us. Okay? A lot less than $950. You can sign up at patreon.com slash the podcast and support this channel. Thank you so much. That's Buy Bar Pass. We'll see you later. Bye.